Well, right here I get some uh, Sea Run Brook Trout and the first order of business for the day is I gotta get these split and cured and later on in the day uh, they're gonna go in the smoker and these uh, were given to us uh, by the in-laws they cut these over Silk Brook Elevik in this tray I got some uh, coarse uh, fish salt and this I got from a Labrador Fishman's Union Shrimp Company there in Mary's Harbor and uh, you can get this uh, from uh, Avalon Salt and Bay Roberts and whenever I got this kind of salt, this is what I always uh, cure uh, my fish with. So I got a bit of sprinkled on the tray and as I uh, split the trout, I'll just lodge them skin down. Sometimes, you know, you leave them froze a little bit, it makes them a little easier to cut. I tell you, it's always, always uh, beautiful color flesh. The trout and Elevik. Yeah, if they're, if they're white and the bellies right here, they're going to be a real nice color inside. Look at that. Oh my. I can almost eat that just like it is. the salt down you know get the process the curing process started now some of the smoked fish we want to enjoy now but uh, it's quite a bit there so I'm going to uh, put a little bit in bottles and they'll keep it and uh, it's really really simple to do so I'm going to show that later on now this trout is uh, a lot smaller than what I normally smoke so I'm only going to cure it for about three three and a half hours I don't want to get too salty. I got a bit of paper towel there, and uh, so after I'm finished, I could dry my hands before I grab the camera. There's a little hole in the side of the camera, and sometimes I get like water or blood from my hands on the camera, and uh, it really affects the sound. I actually took a little toothpick and cleaned the out there the other day, and uh, it made quite a difference. Uh, so this is a great here for the for the mini chief smoker, and uh, all I do. Just take the filter and just rub the salt off, whatever's left on, and just lodge it on the grate. And uh, see little bits of salt. You don't leave the bundles of salt, the ridge just rubs it all off. Right there, like that. Now, if I had these curing too long and I know they were going to be salty, I would dip them in some fresh water and wash more of the salt off. But, but I don't like to do that unless I really got to. Well, actually, uh, one, you know, when I split them, like uh, one half got the backbone in, and I'll put all those on a different grate, and that grate will go lower in the smoker. So, but, um, like that. Dry the hands first. And uh, I get the fire going in the shade and that will dry off these uh, trout a little bit. And before I lodge the, this down in the smoker, I'll just move all the fish a little bit again and uh, they won't stick on the grates quite as much that way. Next I'm going to uh, pick out the bigger, thicker pieces. And this will, uh, this will go on the bottom rack starting off. It'll get a little more heat. Now, the thicker pieces going on the bottom. Just 
look at that. I took one piece off here. Like I said, I don't like to have the fish too crowded on the racks. So uh, I took a piece off. I'm just going to let those dry there a little bit. And now the rest here, I'm going to uh, rub the salt off and put them in this bag and put them in the refrigerator. And then after so many gets done, I'll put some more in the smoker. Well, there's enough there for another rack and a half, maybe. The fish is drying. I got the mini chief plugged in, and uh, I don't have any chips in the pan, but uh, I just want to get a little bit of heat build up in the smoke. And this uh, way, they probably, you know, they must stick on quite so hard. See, where do you Kind of sunk into the fish a little bit, so I'll just move them out of them grooves a little bit. And now that the, the fish is firmed up a little tiny bit, you know, it won't settle down quite as far. Turns from here. Okay. Huh, see? See those marks? Just moving the fish out of those marks now. That's all. So I really just gotta move them a little bit one way or the other. And another thing, I wash the top and the sides of the smoker because sometimes when the smoke and it comes up and sticks onto the side and dries later on when you go to use it again sometimes little bits of that will actually dry off and flake down on your fish. Anyone that's been watching my videos know that I mostly use apple wood chips. And that pan is already a little bit hot I had to smoke on there for a while. And look at the end of this bag. Uh, the trout in the smoker is almost done, so I said I put what I had in the refrigerator on this rack here now and let this dry a little bit. And so, uh, when I take out the, the trout at the smoker, this will be really ready to go in. Just look at this fish. Looks great, but I mean, the smell is unbelievable. Just, just gently. Just look at that. Beautiful, beautiful trout. This is the thicker pieces on the bottom. Just look at the nice color. Just ever so gently. Sometimes like I just rub my fingers along the piece of the great leg. Just just gently push the fish off the grate because they do stick a little bit sometimes and I tell you sometimes it's a lot worse than this look at that I was worried a little bit afraid it's gonna be a little too salty it's smack on man oh yeah mm. now Gonna get these out in the smoker, come back and uh, enjoy that flay. <laughs> mm. You know, I love the skin of fried fish, but uh, I don't eat the skin uh, and smoke fish. All right, uh, you know, make sure your, uh, your jars are clean. And uh, these are 250 milliliter jars. And right here, I got a bit of vinegar. Weak vinegar. And you haven't got to, but uh, you know, a lot of people put uh, a little bit of vinegar in the jar. I'm not gonna measure it off, I'm just gonna guess it roughly. Uh, for small jars like this, maybe just even a, a half a teaspoon, maybe. Just a little drop of vinegar. And I'm gonna do six jars starting off here. This, this size jar is great, you know, for like a individual lunch. Nice to take on a little uh, outdoor outing or or whatever. And uh, 
If you want to, you know, you can open up two or three if you need it more. And right here is oh, the smoked trout. Now I'm cutting the, the smoked trout in pieces to fit in the jar, and uh, I cut them in roughly in thirds because the uh, half would be too long, so. Oh, beautiful trout that is right there. Oh, and the smell is unbelievable. And now, the piece with the backbone, that was a little harder to cut. And now, uh, this is the jars with a little bit of vinegar in there, and so I'll just... And the way it is with smoked fish, you don't want to jam it in, you know, just put it in loosely. And that looks pretty good. Enough for a nice little snack, you know, with a fresh slice of bread or some salad or whatever. And a little small piece there, I guess. If I don't, you just put that on top there too. All those little bits is all flavor. And I'll lodge you one side and get another jar. And uh, like that. So you don't want to jam it in there too tight, but you don't want it too, too loose. I'll take this one back here. Get this bigger piece down there. that and just continue and uh, like I was saying now the, the smokiness flavor gets a little more intense while it's in the bottle but that's good now you're around with that another little tail piece there I'll enjoy the once and well, like I said don't jam it too tight but, but I'll get in there like that oh yeah it's coming right along here Just like that, we got another one done. I wish I could hand this over to you just for you to try. Oh. Yeah, we got our jars filled. See, you can see, like, you know, it's not overly tight. Like that. And now, put these in the boiler. I'm not sure how many is going to fit down here. So we'll see, see how much space those uh, six takes up. I think we'll, we'll fill up one more. And just look at that. That's good. The water's going to expand a bit as it heats up. Alright, got the burner on and when it starts to come to a boil, uh, we'll start our time. Now, while we're waiting for that to come to a boil, we'll have to do another uh, quality control test on the fish. It passed, it passed. All right, it's a little bit rapidly, but uh, I'll just talk a little louder. And uh, they've been boiling for about five minutes here now, and uh, I'm going to let them boil, I guess, for three hours. And if the water level drops a little bit, I'll add a bit more hot water. Don't add cold water. And uh, after three hours, uh, it'll be done. Yeah. Just add a bit of more boiling water. Well guys, I had it boiling for uh, three hours, maybe three hours and five minutes or so, and uh, I took it out. I never got no uh, video of actually taking them at the boiler, but, but trust me, uh, it was uh, three hours. And this is what it looks like, the final product. You can see like there's a little bit of juice, so I put a little bit of vinegar in there, and probably a little moisture comes out the fish, you know, and, but uh, this is what uh, normally looks like. And, you know, these bottles are small, just 
uh, individual size, I guess, but you know, you warmed it up with a nice slice of bread or whatever, a cup of tea. Man, you can't get no better than that. So just a quick video to show you how I uh, prep, cure, smoke, and bottle uh, fish. You can do this, you know, with, you know, this is sea run, uh, run brook trout. You can do this with char, salmon, or whatever, any other kind of fish you so do desire. <laughs> just a quick video. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. All the best from the big land.